In this video, we will see how to manage hierarchical and non-hierarchical data. A WebI report can contain hierarchical and non-hierarchical data as per data source. When you use non-hierarchical data, it is defined as data with no parent-child relationship. A simple example of non-hierarchical data is dimension. When you use hierarchical data, this data is defined as data with parent-child relationship and you can analyze the data at different levels of hierarchy. Let us go to SAP Biosystem and see how to manage hierarchical and non-hierarchical data in WebI report. Let's see how we can work with the WebI report options like sections. So first of all, we will go to the BI Launchpad and we will create one quick WebI report using the universe. Here I will be using the eFashion universe and I will be quickly selecting few of the objects into my result objects. And now I will run the report. So once we have the data inside my report, now we will see how we can create the sections into the web report. So let's say how first of all, we will see how we can create the sections using any column in the report. So let's say if I want to create the section on based on the quarter, I can select the quarter and I can right click and then I can go to this set as section. So once I will click on set as section, I can see that now the section is created for all the different quarter values into my report. So if I scroll down, I can see Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Now, let's say if I want to use a section based on any dimension into my report. So for that, what I will do is I will go to the report elements. I will go to this section area and I will click on this insert section. Once I will click on the insert section, it will prompt me with the objects which are there into my report, like with the dimension objects which are there into my report. So I can go and I can click here and then I can have all the available objects into my report. Now let's say if I want to create a section on year, I will add year. Now I can see that I have year section first, inside that I have quarter. So similarly, if I scroll down, I can see that we have the sections for the year and the quarter values. Now, how we can remove the section from my report? I can right click and I can go to this delete. So we have two options here, whether I want to delete the cell only. Like if I use this cell only, section will remain, but it will not show the cell value here. So the second option is if I want to remove the cell as well as the section. If I use this one, it will delete my section from the report. Now, another option we have is to hide the section. If I right click this and if I go to this hide option, here we have three different options. First one is hide. It means that the section will always be hidden. It will not be available to the users. Then we have hide when empty. So let's say if I have multiple sections into my report and I want to hide them if there is nothing in that particular section. In that case, we can use this hide when empty. After that, we have this hide when. Hide when means like, let's say if I want to hide a section based on some property or the some function. In that case, I will click on this hide when and I can create this formula. Either I can use hide always, hide when empty or hide when falling formula is true. So I can use this FX to create the formula here based on my available objects and the functions and operators in Webby. Once I will create this formula, it will be created here. And my report will hide the section when this formula value will come to true. So in, that, in this way, we can 
hide the section into the web report once we'll click on ok we can see here the different values which are available for the sections so in this tutorial we have seen how we can create the sections based on the column how we can create the section based on the any dimension into my report how we can delete the sections and how we can hide the sections into the webby report thank you